Good morning. I hope we're all staying safe and avoiding contact with other people. Uh, staying away from this virus thing is going to be important to us all getting back to normalcy as soon as possible. I thought today we'd do something a little bit different. This is going to be just a quick instructional video on target heart rate. I mentioned it a few times in some of the other videos. I think it's important that we quickly go over what that is and how to calculate that. So when talking about target heart rate, we talk about the range where we would like our heart rate to be for an extended period of time, usually 30 minutes or longer, to keep that heart rate up in that range. That's going to provide maximum benefit uh, for both fat burning, aerobic capacity. And, you know, so it, it's, it's the most beneficial place to have your heart rate during a workout. Then you're going to get the most benefit out of it. So how do I figure out what is my target heart rate? Now I'm going to use some very simple graphics here. Uh, you have to apologize. I'm doing this from my basement, so please bear with me. But let's talk about how to figure out your target heart rate. Pretty simple steps. First thing you want to do is you want to calculate your maximum heart rate. Now your maximum heart rate should be calculated by taking the number 220 and simply subtracting your age. That's listed as your maximum heart rate. Not your target, but your maximum. Now with that number, you then want to determine your target heart rate. Now we use a range, and typically that range is between 60% and 80% of your maximum heart rate. So you take that max heart rate number, you multiply it by 80%, that would be what I'd call your top end of your range, multiply that maximum heart rate by 60%, and that would be your low end or your low, low side of the range. All right, you with me so far? So here's an example. We have a 17-year-old, doesn't matter, male or female, we know that they're 17 years old. We simply take 220 and subtract it 17 from that. That gives us what we call our maximum heart rate number. In this example, 203. We take that number, we need to figure out our top end. So we multiply 203 by 80%, 162. Then we also figure out our bottom range. 203 by 60% would give us a range of 121 on the low end. So we know our target heart rate range should fall between 121 and 162 for about 30 minutes or longer during our exercise. Let's give you some more information. So, as I said, that target heart rate for this 17-year-old should range between 120 and 162 for 30 minutes or longer. I talk about intensity of workout because this is important too. All right, what are you looking for out of your workouts? Anything below 60%, all right? That would be what I consider a low-intensity workout. It's not that it's not beneficial. And in some cases, it might be more beneficial to work out at under 60% for a longer duration of time. You see, the example I listed here would be walking, lifting weights. Sometimes we don't burn or get that cardio with lifting weights. We're working more on muscle endurance, muscle strength, so your heart rate might not get to 60%. It might not hit that 121. But you are achieving benefits in other ways. You know, walking, if you go out for a leisurely stroll, it's not going to get you up to 120. But if that leisurely stroll were to be for about 90 minutes, you're receiving other benefits as well. And you are receiving some cardio benefit. Ideally, we're between 60 and 80%. This is a great aerobic range. It's a great cardio range and we receive maximum benefit. Examples would include obviously jogging, a brisk walk, bike riding, and I put down cross country skiing, although I hope we don't get any more snow. The last example would be somebody who operates at above 80%. These are typically your higher, uh, higher achieving athletes. Uh, someone who's been working out for a considerable amount of time might be able to get a high intensity workout of over 80%. 
Uh, these, act, these workouts, though, usually you're unable to sustain. You get your heart rate up there above 162. You know, you're, you're talking about doing interval training. Uh, wind sprints is a perfect example of a high-intensity workout. You know, that heart rate will peak above 160, but again, you're unable to sustain that for any period of time. So, figure out your max heart rate. Figure out your target heart rate. Figure out what range you want to be in. Figure out what intensity you want that workout to be. Not every day has to be in between that target heart rate. Sure, you could do some low intensity days. You could probably do a, a day or two of high intensity workout. And the idea with the target heart rate though is for you to understand that if I periodically check my heart rate or check my pulse during my workout, I should be somewhere in that range. For our 17 year olds, it's between 121 and 162. Um, it's a pretty big range, and you'll find that you'll get there fairly quickly. Usually five or ten minutes on the warm-up end, you're in that range. You work out for a good half hour. Don't forget your cool downs, and that'll bring your heart rate down at a gradual rate, which is important as well. Along with that, you got a lot of other things to consider. Make sure you're staying hydrated, all right? Make sure you're stretching before and probably more importantly, after your workout. A brief three to four minute stretch after your workout will do wonders for your muscles as far as soreness and fatigue later on in the day. So it's a little involved, but I know if you're at home doing personalized workouts now on your own, this is an area that you know is often forgotten about. I just jump on something or I get involved in something, I do it, and I don't really take a deeper look at it. Check your pulse out periodically during your workouts. If you're not getting that heart rate up, the cardio benefit, the aerobic benefit is really not going to be there for you. All right? So, depends on what you want to get out of it. Think about it. Get something done. All right? And keep going with this. Uh, I'll be back next week with some more videos, uh, hopefully some different workouts, and maybe expand upon some other topics uh, that we have talked about in the past. All right. Also, if you're getting this and you're a Vestal student, uh, Edgenuity should be open for you on Monday. We'll put an email out as far as uh, what you need to do or what you should be looking at from our Edgenuity curriculum as well. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.